How's it going, David and Comic Book Investments? So, got some stuff back from CGC, quite a bit of good keys, and then a lot of like other stuff as well, some lower end stuff, higher end stuff. A lot of cool golden age that I got back. Very excited about this. One of my, I don't know, it's always hard to say, you like, oh, in my top 10, but then if you actually counted all the ones in your top 10, it'd be like way more than 10, but definitely up there for sure. One of my favorite golden age uh, covers. Um, yes. So let's just get into it. This is what I got back from CGC this week. As always, this stuff is on our website now, collectorscomics.com. No matter how many times I say that, people always ask me, collectorscomics.com. That's where all the stuff, you can find it. Uh, it's up there, first come, first serve. And then on the weekend, on Saturday, I put it all on eBay. So to the people that watch this channel, you get first dibs if you see anything you like. All right. So let's get right into it. We got first appearance of Morbius, Spider-Man 101 in an 80, so kind of a higher grade. Thought it'd be an 80, so came back what I thought. 1559. Here we go. This is a good book to have. It is Spider-Man 129. Looks really nice. It just has a lot of foxing and stuff. Uh, I thought it would be a 6-0, so got a 7-0. So yay, me. Uh, 2499. So a lot of times, here's a really cool uh, Detective Comics. That's a very cool one. Very early. This was, I mean, Robin was what, 38, right? So this is only a few issues of Robin Day Beauty. Um, I thought it'd be 5.5 five to 6.0. Oh, got the 6.0, oh, so 34.99. Super rare. There's none available. This is the only one right here. This one right here. Um, definitely super rare. A lot of times, like, so the rest of this batch, uh, it was pretty good, actually. A lot of this stuff is good. I have found, this is what I've found. A lot of people are like, is, um, is CGC in a harsh, like a strict, really tight era? They always ebbs and flows. Like some times they'll be really loose on their grading. Other times they'll be really strict on their grading. Right now they are overly strict on moderns. Just ridiculous. Like, oh, 9 8s, we're not going to give you any of those. In fact, we're just going to give you an 8.5. <laughs> yeah, it just, just, we send in moderns, and it's the thing that sucks is it's not worth sending back and getting it regraded. And it's, they're just so harsh on like moderns right now, just like ridiculously harsh. But everything else seems to be better. And I think with the reason why is because they got a whole batch of new graders. And so the better older graders, they grade this stuff. This is the stuff that they're grading you know, the more experienced ones. And so they're giving it correct grades. That's why I'm always like really close, spot on. But then with moderns, they give them, you know, the newbies. And then I guarantee you CGC is like, just grade it tighter. I'd rather, they're like, I'd rather you grade it on the tight side than the loose side. So they just grade every, so they're looking at something It's like, eh, maybe it's a nine, two, maybe nine, four, we'll give it a nine, oh, eight, five. <laughs> because you're going to have to send it in again. So a lot of, a lot, I've seen a lot of people talk about it. Trust me, I've experienced it. They are so tight right now with um, their modern stuff, like newer modern stuff. Oh, it's just ridiculous. It's very, very, yeah, uh, yeah, whatever. Um, all right, second appearance of Riddler. We got Detective 142. I thought it'd be a 5 -oh, got a 4-5, uh, $37.99. Fight Comics, number 20. Older Golden Age one. That'd be 5 -oh, got a 5 -oh. 15 .99. You know, if they just come back the grade I think it is, I'm happy. If they come back close to it, you know, then I'm still still like, uh, okay, that's fine. Um, if it comes out above, anything above, I'm very happy. But just coming back the grade, I think I'm very happy with that. Uh, we got a Flash 102. I have never had this book. I always love it when I come across books. Never had it. And I'm like, oh, that's cool. Like, that's the kind of stuff that I'm like, oh, gets me excited. Like, I'm like, oh, boy, things I've never seen. Well, not maybe never seen, but never got. So this is actually a double good because not only did I never see it before or have it before, I thought it was a 5 -oh. Came back 6 5. So the 16, not 16, 1,699. Sorry. I, and. It's the a turtle appearance 
Not the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Nope. I don't know who the turtle is. Some character. Uh, got a couple of these. Journey Mr. 85. This is the first appearance of Loki. It's also something else, isn't it? Um, third appearance of Thor. Well, I knew that. Oh, it's also the first appearance of Heimdall. Him Heimdall. 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 Um, I thought I'd be 4 0, got a 3 5. It was kind of hard because I had some like pieces missing. Um, you never really know how they're going to like grade that with those pieces missing. 31 59. Then we got another one. This was in my Usagi or my Albedo 2 video. This was the other book I got in that package um, through a walkthrough. Uh, I thought it'd be 5 5, got a 5 5. Um, 5,999. So expensive book. Uh, oops. First appearance of Johnny Blaze Ghost Rider, Marvel Spotlight number five. Uh, this one I thought would be a 6 0, got a 5 0. And then I looked at it again, and it has like the cover tanning. I always like love grading it. And I mean, after looking at it again, you know, I think 6 0 is out of the range, but. A 5.5 five is definitely possible, but it's just one of those things. Like the cost of grading at the time it takes, and then who knows what it's going to get. This one, pretty happy with this one. Uh, Walking Dead, I thought it would be a 9.6 to a 9.8, and I got that 9.8. So good there, 35.99. Once again, that's modern, but it's in a different tier. It's in uh, whatever it is, Express or something like that. So... It's getting the better graders. Origin and first appearance of Captain Marvel Jr. This book is going to be pretty expensive when the other movies start coming out. Uh, Wiz Comics number 25. I thought it'd be 3 5, got 4 up. So most of the stuff is just like on par or slightly above. Uh, $32.99. There used to be a ton of these on eBay. Not anymore. I think I were the only ones. And then lastly, of this little batch here. One of my favorite covers, Golden Age covers, love this cover, is Young Allies number four. I've had this twice uh, throughout my career. Always loved it. I had a 7.5. Yeah, can you believe it? Back in the day. Uh, Young Allies four. I thought it would be a 5.0. Got a 5.0. That's good. Uh, 47.99. I love the Red Skull on there. Just he looks, you know, it's a great Red Skull cover. I mean, the only one that's ever that I think is a better Red Skull cover is... Um, was it Captain? It's when it Captain America turned to like weird Captain America stories or whatever the hell it was called. It's like number 74 or something. It's, oh, that's a great. I've never owned that. Never, ever. I've always wanted it. It's always like more expensive. And then every time I try to get it, it's like even more expensive than I think it's going to be. Impossible to get. Great cover. Um, okay, now on to the next little batch here. We got. I got a bunch of these, so I'm not going to bore you with the same one over and over and over. Albedo number four. This is a 9-4. Um, I thought this is, goes into the moderns. These were all, all these Albedos and Usagis and Turtles that I sent in all got just destroyed. And it's not really worth resending in. So it's kind of like you get one chance and that's it. Um, thought it'd be 9-6, 9 Like I said, I got a bunch of these. Four, Albedo one. No two, except that one I showed. Um, three, four, I think even a five. And then I got a bunch of this Turtles, number 47. First, Space Usagi. Uh, this one's a nine, six. I thought it'd be a nine, six, a uh, 319. Um, then I got a bunch of these Usagi number ones up. Any grade you want, we got them. This one is Stan, uh, signed by uh, Stan Sakai. Uh, 9.0, I thought it would be a 9.0. Uh, 2.79. And here we go. This one turned out really good, actually. Um, I thought it would be a 9.2.9.6. Or, I mean, sorry, 9.2.9.4 got a 9.6. Um, 4.99. But, again, I'm just showing you the better ones. You should see all the other ones I got. It's like, that would be like 9.4, 8.0. So I'd be like, <laughs> a 9, 2, 8, 5. Like, oh. <laughs> so these are the better ones of the batch. All right, let's Hey. Spider-Man, you're supposed to watch this. He's terrible at his job. All 
I like how they kind of stack. They kind of like get, you know, lock in place, so to speak. They don't come crumbling down. All right, next batch. This is more like marble, bronze, and silver stuff. Some good stuff in here. Like this Daredevil number three in a 7 0. That'd be a 6 0, 679. What do we got here? Uh, Daredevil five. That'd be a 7 0, got a 6 5, 499. And we got a seven. This is the first red costume. Uh, also battling Submariner. Uh, it's obby four five, got four oh, uh, four seventy nine. First appearance of Beast Boy. I always thought that um, this little caterpillar thing on there was Beast Boy, but it's not. That's Bug Man. You know, I'm just like, oh, he's green and. I guess it's a beast. I don't know, what's his extent? Can he turn into bugs or is it just mammals? Or fish? I, and it just, yeah. I'm always thinking about that. I'm like, how can something so small turn so big? Like when he turns into a T-Rex or something like that or a woolly mammoth or something like that. And I'm also thinking like, how does his powers, do they work? How do they work exactly? Does he see something and then mimic it? But what if he, there's something internal into that animal that he doesn't know about. Can he not reproduce that power? So let's just say, pretend he turns into a spider, but he doesn't realize that a spider, you know, shoots webs. Does he now can't shoot webs? Does he have to know? I don't know. Lots of questions. Um, I thought it'd be five, five, six, so I got six, five, so that's good, 499. This book. This is going to be popping off, at least my assumption. I thought this would be 3.5, got 5.5, five, five. so I'm very happy with that. Uh, 1,059, but this, I have a feeling. Like, I have, like, sometimes I get these gut feelings. You know, we're going to get the Fantastic Four movie coming out. They're going to have Doctor Doom. Uh, this is a good key. That I believe it's his origin, right? Origin of Doctor Doom, yes, and maybe his, I think it's his first origin. Um, so yeah, and it's just a good cover. So just saying, um, fighting five, number 40, first appearance peacemaker. This book was worthless, worthless. I tell you, uh, up until uh, a few years ago, until the peacemaker, I thought it'd be a four five, got a four Oh six ninety nine. Now it's just through the roof. And the interesting thing is like, there's just like not that many of them anyways out there in the world. So it makes it actually cool. This is, there's only five of up, up on eBay in all grades. I was actually surprised when I saw that. Someone was asking me about this book. Someone was commenting. Can't remember who now, but they're asking about it. I thought it'd be 7 0, got 7 0. So uh, 379. It's funny. We used to get these books all the time and no one really cared. And then all of a sudden it's like, yeah, everyone wants one. Um, Marvel premiere number one. I have no idea. I don't have it written down. Sorry, but it is Marvel premiere number one. Uh, Marvel premiere 10. First appearance of uh, Shuma Gorath. Shuma, Shuma Gorath. Uh, 6'5", I thought it'd be 7 0, 2.59. So, yeah, but close enough. When it's close enough, but down, and it hurts is when it's like, mm, I think I want a 9.6, mm, 9.4, ooh. Or a 9.8, oh, 9.6, that's when it hurts. But if it's like 7.0 to 6.5, it's like, eh, not that big of a deal. First appearance of Mephisto, you know, the guy that was always rumored to be in every single thing ever. Uh, supposed to be 3.5, got 4.5, so happy there. Uh, 5.25, like most of these pretty much worked out, as long as they weren't the moderns. Like I only showed you what, like four books from the moderns, I have a whole box, all terrible. Minus like those few, all bad. Not happy at all with those. This book has dropped a ton. Uh, Thought it'd be five five, got five five, three seventy nine. 
It's interesting, you know. I if you look through here, most of the time I'm on point with CGC. In the moderns, they're just through a really, really tough time right now. Tough era. Uh, Strange Tales, 101. Um, 3 0, got a 3 0, 299. Strange Tales, 115. This one, not so good. Thought it'd be 4 5, got a 3 5, 299. What is it? It's the origin of Doctor Strange, right? Origin of Doctor Strange, second appearance of Sandman. And then the last one on the list is we got X-Men 58. Was it the first full Havoc? Oh, first appearance of Havoc in costume. Before that, it was what, like 54? And was it 54 and 55, first appearance of Alex Summers, and then 58 became Havoc. Um, thought be 8 got an 85, so happy there. Uh, 829. And that will be it. I hope you like this kind of stuff. Like I said, all the stuff is available on our website, collectorscomics.com. Also, we are running an auction. That starts Saturday. So be sure to check it out. Get some good deals there. It runs for two weeks. I will promote it way more as it gets closer. And you guys have a good day.